Welcome to our exploration of the seven signs of the second coming of Christ. The Bible provides us with clear signs that will tell us when the time is near. The end of the world is a topic that fascinates millions and is often depicted in blockbuster movies like Avengers, Endgame and Captain Marvel. But do these disaster movies portray a real future? The reality is that devastating disasters are happening all around us. For instance, last autumn's terrible flooding across Central Africa killed scores of people and forced thousands from their homes. And Hurricane Dorian was the worst natural disaster in the Bahamas' recorded history, leaving roughly 70,000 people homeless and hundreds presumed dead. In the first nine months of 2019, more than 40,000 wildfires across the U.S. burned about 4.4 million acres. California was one of the hardest-hit states. It seems that things are getting worse, not just in California, but elsewhere too. But what if there is an entirely different dimension to the apparent increase in natural disasters and world turmoil? What if things don't get better? Will we survive? Humanity is trying to rule itself without God. Can the 193 nations ever find peace? History shows us the horrors of war, tyranny, and nuclear weapons. Today, we still face many threats to our survival. But will the Earth last? Is there hope for peace? The Bible reveals what will happen before the end of this age. It says there will be a terrible time of trouble, worse than ever before. Only God can save us from total destruction. He will send His Son, Jesus Christ, back to Earth to stop the evil and set up His government. But what should we do until then? Many ignore the reality and enjoy themselves. But Jesus tells us to watch and pray, and not to let our hearts be weighed down by sin and worry. He says he will come suddenly, like a trap, for everyone on earth. He gives us seven signs to look for, to know when he is near. Will you be ready to see him? You can be, if you obey him and prepare. So, watch for these seven signs. 1. Growing danger of nuclear war, the nuclear weapons and other weapons of mass destruction are spreading. Experts are alarmed. They say that since 2016, there has been no improvement in reducing the risk of nuclear war. They point to Iran, North Korea, and Syria as sources of danger. They say that these countries are involved in illegal activities with dual-use materials and technologies. Humans tend to use the technology they have. This is a scary thought. The Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists says that the world is in a new and abnormal state. They say that nuclear, climate, and information warfare threats are not taken seriously enough. They say that if we continue to live carelessly, we may face a disaster of historic proportions. They say that it is still two minutes to midnight. The Bible agrees. It says that humanity is not done with war. It says that there will be a World War III when a huge army will cross the Euphrates River. It says that this army will have 200 million horsemen. It says that these horsemen will have fire, smoke, and brimstone coming out of their mouths. It says that by these three plagues, one third of humans will die. This is shocking, but it is what the Bible says. Watch for the signs of nuclear war. 2. Earthquakes and other natural disasters. Natural disasters are becoming more frequent and severe. They cause pain and damage. Why does God let them happen? The editor of this magazine explains this in his booklet Acts of God, Why Natural Disasters. He talks about volcanoes, like the ones that killed many people in Pompeii and Mount St. Helens. He says we should be wise and avoid evil, as the Bible says. Natural disasters are expensive. They affect many people and economies. The US has lost over $1.7 trillion since 1980 because of 254 major weather events. In 2018, natural disasters cost the US $91 billion, according to the NOAA. Some insurance companies say more, but these are just US losses. In 2011, an earthquake and tsunami hit Japan's Fukushima nuclear power plant. This caused more than 20,000 deaths and $360 billion in economic damage. This was more than Katrina in 2005, which cost $250 billion. We could list more events and sufferings, but the Bible says that the worst is still to come. Before Christ returns, there will be a great earthquake, like never before. The book of Revelation says so. The book of Matthew says that there will also be wars, famines, pestilences, and earthquakes everywhere. These are the beginning of sorrows. How can we prepare for these events? The only way is to follow Christ and do what he says. Stocking up on food, water, and resources is not enough. 3. A united Europe seeks global primacy. Europe has many problems. Brexit, immigration, and the US-NATO tension are some of them. 
Europe needs a strong and charismatic leader to unite it. The Bible says that such a leader will come, and he will be like a beast with seven heads and ten horns. He will have the support of ten kings or kingdoms, and he will bring back the Roman Empire. He will have great power and influence, and he will be worshipped by the world. The world power structure will change dramatically. Watch for the signs of Europe's rise. For a powerful leader unites billions in a religious revival. The Bible predicts that two world leaders will rise, both called beasts. One will be a political and military leader, and the other will be a religious leader. The religious leader will look like a lamb, but will talk like a dragon. He will back the political leader, and will make people worship him. He will do amazing signs and wonders, like bringing fire down from heaven. He will fool billions of people with his false religion. He will be a servant of Satan, not of God. He will be destroyed by Jesus Christ when he comes back. The text warns us to watch for the signs of this religious revival in Europe, where a false and lawless religion will grow. 5. The Abomination of Desolation The abomination of desolation is a phrase from Daniel that means a wicked act in God's temple. Jesus told us to look for this sign, as it will start the last three and a half year phase of end-time disasters. In 167 BC, a Greek king called Antiochus Epiphanes stopped the Jews from making temple sacrifices. He also put a statue of a false god in the temple and made everyone worship it. This was an abomination of desolation that predicted a future event. 1290 days before Jesus Christ comes back, another abomination of desolation will happen. Someone will stop the Jewish sacrifices again and profane the temple. Jesus warns Christians to know this sign and to escape when they see it. We need to watch for events in Israel that will lead to the restoration of animal sacrifices by religious Jews and to a global treaty that will allow these sacrifices. 6. The Gospel of the Kingdom of God Preached to All Nations The Gospel of the Kingdom of God is a sign of the end of the age and the coming of Jesus Christ. This gospel is being shared with all nations by this magazine, which tells the future world of peace and prosperity under God's rule. Jesus Christ taught this gospel when he was here, and he will return as the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. The prophet Isaiah said that the Messiah's kingdom of peace will never end, and that he will rule with justice and righteousness. The present world of war and oppression will be replaced by the kingdom of God, which will be declared by the seventh angel. 7. Heavenly Signs and the Day of the Lord The Bible predicts that a cosmic disturbance will shock everyone on earth. Some Bibles call it the sixth seal, cosmic disturbances in Revelation 6 verse 12. Is this the same as the blood moon eclipses we see sometimes? No, it is not. Revelation 6 verses 12 to 17 says that there will be a huge earthquake, the sun will go dark, the moon will turn red, the stars will fall, the sky will split, and every mountain and island will move. People will be so scared that they will hide and beg for death. They will know that God's wrath has come. The blood moon eclipses are just a reminder, but the real thing will be much worse and will not be natural. These heavenly signs will mark the day of the Lord, when Christ will judge the world. God warns us before these judgments. The moon will be red and the sun will be black. Thousands of meteors will light up the sky. God's wrath is coming on all nations. How can we escape the great tribulation and the day of the Lord? Jesus tells us to watch and pray, and not to be distracted by sin and worry. He says that he will come like a trap for everyone on earth. He says that we should pray that we may be worthy to escape and to stand before him. Some preachers say that we can't understand prophecy and that Christ may come at any time. They are wrong. The Bible and other Tomorrow's World publications reveal a clear prophetic framework that we can believe. We need to respond to our Savior now, because we don't know when we will die and face the resurrection of the saints or the resurrection of judgment. We wait for the return of Jesus Christ, the Messiah, who will rule all nations and establish the kingdom of God on earth for a thousand years. What is your greatest goal? The Bible gives us the best goal we can have, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you, Matthew 6 verse 33. Watch for these seven signs of Christ's return, prepare, and pray, your kingdom come, 